welcome back to the Girl the Girl Bookworm. So today I have a video that has been a long in the making. Is that a long time in the making? Is that what they say? This is like a weekend news slash what I read last week, like after the new year kind of video. I have been like really like I've had a cold since like Disney and literally like it knocked me out this weekend. So I couldn't film anything this weekend. Yesterday happened, and I ended up having so much crazy stuff going on just from, like, catching up from being back and starting over the new year, so I couldn't film yesterday. And then I almost didn't film today because I want to, like, declutterize and de-high schoolize my bedroom because I've been out of high school since 2008, so I figured it was time to de-high school my room. So lots of things going on. But I figured I would make this video really quick. The only reason why I'm doing it here inside the bookshelf is because it's night and the bookshelf is in the hallway. So it's really kind of hard to get lighting in there. So I figured I would just do it in here and make my next video in front of the bookshelf. So this is like, like I said, kind of last week slash like this weekend. So like last Thursday, I think, yeah, I read The Carnivorous Carnival by Lemony Snicket. This is book nine in the series. I think I give this three stars because I liked how it's like it's changing up the plot, but I think I'm just biased against the series now because I know I don't want to read it, so I know it just drags for me. So I gave it three out of three, five stars. Yeah, I'm shrugging. Shrug What's that word? I don't know, but I'm going through it. Reading book ten next month. Not falling for it. The next book I read was Burn for Burn by Jenny Han and Siobhan Vivian. I gave this four stars. This is about three girls who are in the same school. They are kind of connected, but they're not like immediate like friends. And they all want revenge against somebody in the school, and they are going to help each other out to get that revenge. And I actually really like this book. It just there just felt like there's something missing from it that couldn't give it that extra five star but I'm really excited to continue the series of fire with fire if I ever get it <laughs> anytime soon but I did like it and which was surprising because like I said contemporary but I think the whole idea of revenge and everything kind of made it extra exciting and the next book I read which well I read burn for burn Friday I read a book Saturday and that was the Lightning Thief by Rick Riordan. I gave this five stars. I feel like I don't really have to talk too much about this because obviously I feel like everyone has read this. This is the first book in the Percy Jackson series. And now I um, am really looking forward to reading the next one. In the beginning, I was kind of so-so about this book. And then towards the end, I really started really picking up and I really started to enjoy it. I'm just not used to having a 12-year-old main character. I kept picturing them, like, being, like, 18. Because in the movies, like, I haven't seen the movies, but they're, like, 18 years old. So I kept picturing them as, like, 18-year-olds versus a 12-year-old. But I really did enjoy this and I cannot wait to continue on with this series. Probably next month. Depends on how I'm doing with this TBR. Because so far, I've actually been doing really good with my TBR. My next book that I read, this book I read Sunday, like I said, this is like a really weird reading week for me. Like, I was in bed all weekend, so what better to do than read all weekend? So, it's slowed down since that weekend. So, I read Fallen by Lauren Kate. I forgot. I think I gave this three stars out of five. Didn't love it. Didn't hate it. It was just meh. Um, it's about this girl, and she's going to this, um, reform school, and she sees this guy there, and she's, like, drawn to him, but he kind of ignores her, and he really tries to push her away, and, but she's still, like, I, there's something about this guy, like, I feel like I've known him before, I feel like I'm drawn to him, I'm in love with him, and there's this other guy, Cam, who is also kind of, like, vying for her love, like, he's really showing her, like, that he likes her, and... I don't know, it's, there's a lot of mystery, like I said, how she's drawn to him, she's drawn to him, she's drawn to him, but you don't really find out any of the mysteries, the answers to the mysteries, until like the last hundred pages, and that's when it actually really starts getting good. I, it's just like I said, it was just kind of, it dragged, like a lot of this stuff happened, and I just felt like there was nothing really happening until the very end. Um, I liked the idea of the reform school. 
because I've never read anything about, like, a reform school before, so that kind of intrigued me. I liked how she was making her friends and all these different people that are in this reform school. Eventually, if I could get Torment for cheap, I might continue because I do want to know what's going on because that epilogue really threw me off and I was really confused with that epilogue. Let me just tell you that. It was weird. And then another thing that bothered me is, like, why she's in the reform school. She doesn't really remember anything that happened of why she was in the reform. Like, she knows why she's there, but she doesn't know, like, the specific events of the night. So I was kind of, like, disappointed. Like, I wanted to know more about that, which obviously this is a four-book series, so something's got to happen. But, um, got to leave something a secret. But, yeah, so I had a really good, like, reading weekend. I, like, read a book a day, basically, from Thursday to Sunday. Now I've slowed it down. I'm reading something else, but I will save that for my weekly wrap-up at the end of this week, which is soon. Um, I hope you guys are having, like, a really good week, and I will see you guys very soon. Bye, everyone.